Passport, you know what this means. Today's vlog is going to be a short one because I just got a last minute phone call to head to Ireland tomorrow. Um, should be nice, should be a good one, but it means that I gotta pack now and sort my life out rather than doing the nice vlog I was planning on. But I still want to talk to you about something that's quite important that is how to charge your clients or how to know how much to charge your clients. The first thing you need to do is figure out where you sit in the pool of talent and get your prices accordingly. Now, the best thing to do is actually just go talk to freelancers, uh, ones that you think are the same level as you, and ask how much they're charging. You'll find that it will vary depending on where you are. So for instance, in London, the prices are higher than they are down south, so it means I can charge a little bit more to fit in nicely to where I sit. The other thing is the location and how that impacts that. So for instance, London, the prices are a little bit higher. So you have to find out where you sit in that talent of where you are. So say you're in London and you're that standard corporate filmmaker, you're charging 350 a day for filming. Sometimes you might wanna charge more when there's more pressure involved. For instance, if you are leading a team and you're project managing, you might wanna bump it up to 400 to 500. Maybe also that you have a quick turnaround just because a job takes half the time doesn't mean you should be charging half as much. Sometimes it means you should be charging twice as much. So if you have to film and edit and deliver a film in one day, that is a very high pressure situation. And actually you are in your right to charge more for that service because that is a quality of service not many people can provide. So don't necessarily think more time equals more money. It is the quality of the time that you are putting in. That is where the value comes into it. If it takes you two days to do a job, I can do in one day, that doesn't mean you should get paid twice as much as me. It actually works the other way around, that the quality of the time put in is greater than the time spent by someone else. So ask around, ask what other people are charging. Once you have that, look at what the base rate is in the area you're in, and then decide on a job by job basis. Definitely have a standard rate for what you want to charge for any normal job. But do pay attention, when a job comes in that is more demanding, and equally, if a friend wants you to come on as a B camera where you have very little to do and they can only offer you £200, don't turn it down, you know, that could be very worthwhile. Always be willing to look at things as they come and go. I hope that helps. Um, I'm sorry it's a short one. I've got to finish packing and the next vlog you see will be from Ireland. I've also just had a stag do in Belgium. Guinness though. I could do a Guinness.